Good. So hello, I guess it's just uh, Miss Mallory and Victoria with us today. Um, so my name is Claire Bernstein. I'm with the University of Louisiana Monroe. Um, so I went to school there, graduated in 2018, and now I work for them as a recruiter. Um, I'm actually from Carrollton, so just right up the road from you guys. Um, so we are about five hours away from um, like the Arlington kind of Dallas area. Um, so it's really not too bad of a drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this presentation and we can get through it real quick. Um, one second. So like I said, University of Louisiana Monroe, um, this is actually like a picture of our campus. Um, so one thing we love to really kind of emphasize is our bayou. So it runs straight through the middle of campus. And I know before I came here, I was like, what in the world's a bayou? Literally just a body of water, kind of looks like a little river kind of thing. Um, differences, they just have like alligators sometimes. Um, so it goes, like I said, goes straight through the middle. One side is going to be our academic side. So that's where all of our classes are taking place, where we're studying. Um, that big building in the picture is actually the library. Um, so it is really pretty. And the other side is going to be all of our athletics. So everything is just walking distance, like 10 minutes max between classrooms. So it's really nice. Um, so these are just kind of a few things going on around campus. If you see on the state of Louisiana where the little ULM is, that is where we are located. We were established in 1931. Um, we have roughly 8,500 students, so it's a medium-sized Division I school. Um, so we kind of have the perks of the really big school, but we are such a small campus um, that you really get to know everybody and get to get involved in a whole bunch of things. Um, we do like to hound on the fact that we have people from all over, whether that's almost every country represented, um, almost every parish in Louisiana, which would be the equivalent to our counties in Texas, and then um, almost every state too. So really cool stuff. Um, so we are one big university, but on that university, we have four colleges. It's the arts of, or the College of Arts, Education and Sciences, Business and Social Sciences, Health Sciences, and then Pharmacy. Um, so we'll kind of touch base more on each one kind of individually. So first we have the College of Arts, Education and Sciences. Um, so this one's pretty self-explanatory basically any arts, education, or science. So um, that's if you want to become a teacher. Um, so sciences like biology could get you into med school one day, those kind of things. Um, one that really sticks out for us is atmospheric science. Um, so those people are the ones who are like reading the radars and all that stuff um, to know when weather's coming or when it's not. Um, they do have the only Doppler radar in the state of Louisiana on our campus. Um, so that's something really cool that we like to talk about. Um, they also like to work hand in hand with our news anchor like in Monroe so that they can get that first hand um, like experience on the, you know explaining the weather and all that kind of stuff. So next we have the College of Health Sciences. This is probably our biggest college on campus um, that's going to house all of those things listed on the screen. Um, so with dental hygiene, let's see, dental hygiene, med lab science, nursing, occupational therapy, and speech language pathology, we have all those clinics right here on campus. So whatever you need to do, you can literally stay on campus at all times and do it. One thing that's kind of cool about our dental hygiene school is they do have a mobile clinic. So they get to travel um, to, they have like kind of a relationship and partnership with a few different parishes around us. Um, so it's kind of people who maybe can't afford healthcare, you get to go and help them. So a lot of the times you're not only learning for school, but you're also doing community service hours which also looks really good one day on a resume. So College of Health and Sciences, and then we have College of Business and Social Sciences. So the left side will be the, oh, I'm so sorry, Let's go back. So the left column is gonna be anything in the College of Business, while the right column is gonna be the Social Sciences. Um, when you're looking at the right column, most times you will have to get a master's in order to actually go out and practice whatever your work is for that. So like if you wanna be a psychologist, you have to get like a master's and sometimes even a doctorate in those. Um, some of them on the left that really stand out for us are construction management. So we like to say that's where um, like architecture and engineering kind of meet world. Um, and then so you're managing the construction, not actually doing the building. It is our second highest paid major on campus. Um, the lead Imagineer at Disney World, he actually graduated from ULM. So they are a very successful program, 100% um, job placement, which is really good. Also, anything in the College of Business um, or the College of Business has put together where you get to go intern pretty much wherever you want to go and they'll pay for you to go do that. 
Um, so, you know, of course, learning is very important, but also the internships to get you a job. Next, we have College of Pharmacy. So we are the only public funded pharmacy school in the state of Louisiana. The only other one is Xavier, which is the New Orleans, and that's private. Um, so basically, that just means we make it cheaper for you to go. So you have three years of undergrad, four years of doctorate school. Um, so in seven years, you graduate as a doctor. And this is actually our highest paid major on campus. Um, so they are very successful and do very well out in their fields. So a little bit more about the university. So we do have 17 division one collegiate sports. We are in the Sunbelt Conference. Um, so we get to play a lot of the bigger schools, like mainly SEC schools is kind of who we match up with. Um, so we kind of get the big school feel, like I said, but still being kind of small. Um, one thing that is cool is your student ID gets you into any sporting event on campus for absolutely for free. So student life and leadership. So we do have a bunch of different options going on around campus, over 150, as you can see. Um, so there's anything from social with like your sorority kind of things, with academics, so like honor society, so religious with the churches. We have like all the different denominations on campus. And so a lot of students get very involved in those as well um, to professional and cultural. So there are several options. And if there's even something that maybe you and a group of friends are very interested in that we don't have, y'all can get together and make that club be a thing on campus. Um, so there's like just a bunch of different opportunities to really get involved and get yourself out there and really meet people. And sometimes these groups even let you, or they give you scholarship to go to school with if you hold certain positions. So that'll be like SGA and CAB, which are kind of similar to like a student council in high school, but it's just like the college version. Um, so what's new on the Bayou? So these are all just pictures of things going on. So we have President Barry. He just started with us a couple months ago. So he's brand new with us. Um, he was the dean over the College of Business and now he's our president. So he's constantly bringing in good, fresh ideas. And um, we have VCOM, which is gonna be our medical school. So they started in the Carolinas and kind of worked their way down to us in Louisiana. Um, we do have a bridge program with them. If you go to ULM as a biology pre-med, and then plan to go to med school. If you have a 3.6 GPA for your last two years of college, 3.6 overall science GPA, and at least a 500 on your MCAT, then you get a guaranteed interview into med school, um, which is really big. And then we also have a physical therapy school starting in 2022, and they'll also have a bridge program with them. So if you do pre-PT at ULM and then go to our therapy or PT school, then you know, kind of already have your foot in the door which is obviously very nice. Um, and they are currently working on finishing up all that and ordering and all the newest equipment and everything. So it's gonna be really great. Um, we also do now offer a bachelor's in music. Um, so if anybody's music minded, then that's great for you. Um, next, residential halls. So especially if you're coming from five hours away, you'll have to you know, live on campus somewhere. If you look on the left side with Madison, Master and Washita, that is all how those are set up. So it's gonna be two people to a room and then four people to a bathroom. Madison is all boys, Master and Ouachita are all girls. Um, in the middle, you have University Commons, University Suites and Bayou Suites. Um, they are all set up like that as well, except University Commons is like one big room instead of getting two like individual rooms. So those will be our most popular and those are co-ed. Um, Bayou Suites is just the honors dorm. So you have to like withhold a certain GPA and have ACT score to get in those. And on the right with the um, on-campus apartments, you will have to be a sophomore level to be able to live in those. And one thing we like to really brag about are no community bathrooms because those are disgusting. So that's really good. Here you're looking at your scholarship grid. So basically you'd match up like your ACT with your GPA. And I know that's not the full scholarship grid. So if anybody needs it, like I can send it or whatever. Um, so we do have a priority deadline of January 31st for you to apply and your December ACT or SAT is the last one we will look at. Um, for out of state, um, the you know uh, requirements are a little bit different. So to get your out of state waived, it's a 21 on your ACT, which is the equivalent to a 1060 on the SAT and then a 2.5 um, GPA. So that's just the only really difference is um, just to get enrolled in general is going to be a 2.35 GPA and a 20 on the ACT. So it's just a little bit different just so you can pay like you're an in-state student instead. But then after that, you can get these scholarships on top. And then, like I just said, so the admission requirements, that's them kind of laid out for you. So if you had any questions about that, that's where they are. 
Um, it is free to apply right now and it probably will be throughout the rest of the year, maybe into next year as well. So definitely do that. Um, and your general application is also your scholarship application. So it's not like multiple steps or anything. And that is really it for the presentation. Here's my um, information if you wanna take it down. Um, so that my cell phone number is listed there if it's easy for you to text. If you'd rather that over like an email or phone call, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, there's also a link to schedule a tour. So we are offering in-person tours right now and um, they are very personal. So it'll be like you and your family and one tour guide and then they take you all around, set you up with an advising appointment so you can kind of get your whole four years of college laid out for you right then and kind of know what all you'll be getting into. But that is it. Are there any questions or anything?